Hi guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to do a transformation uh, scene like effect that I usually use in my videos and you can even see it in my latest video if you haven't checked it out you should so it's basically this scene right here where there where you can see shock squatch it looks like uh, he's like coming out of me or something like that and that's basically what I'm going to be teaching now you can use this for transformation scenes or just like transformation uh, but it's very simple what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up node video and then you just want to get a video of just you like acting like this maybe and then you can cut it if you want that's basically it and then now if you are going to use this for transformation scenes you're gonna need to basically green screen out yourself which you can do by getting an actual green screen or just using online softwares just like I do and also, I will leave in the description a download link for all of my transformation scene backgrounds. So, first, what you're going to do is you're going to make a 3D camera. And inside of it, you're going to put the 3D model. Now, I do have a 3D model pack that I have released. If you look at my YouTube shorts, you will see that I have uploaded a new 3D model pack. But, um, for this video, I don't know what alien I should do, so I think I'm just going to do, how about Cannonbolt? Why not? So let's go Cannonbolt, the classic Cannonbolt. Now, I already have a tutorial on how to make like 3D models and add their textures and whatever which uh, I will leave a link to it in the description. So basically you want to just like get your alien. Now if you want him to be closer but he like glitches out like this, you can just go into the camera in the 3D settings, go to FOV and just increase it. Now this you can also do to like make him go like a bit. Uh, maybe like two. I think that's good. Then you're going to add a fill and then make it the any color as long as it's not on your alien. So I'm doing cannon bolt. So I might do a green screen. It's basically like you creating a green screen basically. So I'm just going to add some shading to cannon bolt first. Oh, that's good. And basically just add like a making like basically a green screen. So I'm going to do maybe like green. Then you want to click here and press this. This makes the 3D, the um, fill 3D. So as you can see, you already have the effect. And then you just click on here. Click this and this. And then just like keyframe it just to go like this back. Then boom. That's basically it. But then you just go to here, chroma key it, or the green, or just basically chroma key it, and yep, so there we go. And now, uh, if you want yourself to disappear, now this will only work if you're using like a green screen of yourself um, what you should do um, is that you're just going to also just do this and then make no in the scale you're just gonna add a keyframe so that you get smaller and then you can just cut yourself off like this and then I want to just make sure that 
it starts at roughly the part where a cannonball like starts to appear. So it really let me like make this clip a bit longer. And I'm just gonna take the part where a cannibal like basically starts to appear, which is around here, and make the scaling start there, and maybe like make it end at the same part where a cannibal ends. Cannonball, so here. And just basically do it like this, where you just want it to be that uh, you get smaller when Campbell appears more. Now obviously you would do this with a green screen of yourself, but there is a thing in a node video uh, where you can just like do a human matting, but it's not always that good. But if you don't know how to green screen yourself from a video, you can just do it. Now it seems like it looks a bit weird because it's like my pot, my body is just like starts doing like weird. It just looks like you've cut out my body. So I'm just going to make myself go down at the same spot. Like basically just do in the position this time. And make myself go down. So now that's basically it. And let me just do that. Let me make myself go down a bit more. I like this, why not? Not much, but you can just add another keyframe here. Which makes me go down. And now, if you want it to look like there's a green thing around Cannonbolt while he's going and transforming or whatever, you can just go to here. And then, you're gonna go to natural and go saber edges and then you're gonna pick green or just any color it doesn't have to be green like if you're doing albedo it can be red so now that happens and you can adjust it too and then you can add like the transformation background behind this so i don't have it right now so you could just like add that and yeah and then you can just for the outline if you want it to disappear in the saber edge you're just gonna go to thickness and then just go to the part where you want it to disappear and and then add like a little keyframe before it and then make that and do the same thing for uh also like this to also for the distance do the same thing at the same point that's very important that it has to be in the same spot and then if you want you can also do this but but it doesn't really matter as you can see it disappears and then you can maybe like make cannonball like zoom out maybe I'd like make them like zoom out a bit now obviously it's not gonna work that much because of this but you can just cut it out so now you can just make cannonball like zoom out like a transformation scene or something and then make it end and then you can add just the transformation effect which you can see from my video about it which i will leave also in the description and yeah that's basically it Uh, and here's the final result.